Hello and welcome to this edition of The Halcyon Show. My name is Lorne Risley and I'll be your host for this episode. And on this edition, it's going to be a let's play or first impression of Poosh XL. And uh, my lack of preparation means that uh, you will have to bear with me just one moment. I haven't got the intro or anything uh, prepared. How you doing? How you doing? Are you well? Are you enjoying this heat if you're in the UK? If you're not, just to let you know, it's really hot at the moment. Anywho, Push XL is a neon-infused one-button arcade score chaser. That's it. That's pretty much says it all. If you like the first sentence, you'll probably enjoy this game. Otherwise, refund it. I don't care. I just work here. The spiritual successor to Ding Dong XL, which is, by the way, a game that I also provided a let's play for. Uh, the release date is the 8th of May 2023. The developer and publisher is Adam Vision Studios, and it's currently available on Steam right now for £4.29 or as part of the Arcade Score Chaser Bundle which is currently discounted for £6.97 and that includes a bunch of games as a matter of fact so uh, nine games in total so that's that's pretty insane value to be honest uh, right so let us take a look at, uh, at the game itself now a uh, bit of a disclaimer I have played a little bit of this game so far tiny little bit and uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty fun. The reason uh, I'm doing a let's play as opposed to a full blooded review will become quite clear is because, unfortunately, for the developer, the developer has kind of hit the nail on the head that it is uh, a fairly one dimensional style game. It's an arcade game in every sense of the word, and that this is really for tiny little bursts of something to do. Um, but well designed. I really enjoy these uh, design uh, the, the way that Adam Vision designs their games. And uh, effectively, all you've got to do is navigate up the top. You see those hazards. As long as you don't hit those, you're fine. Uh, the bar in the middle uh, indicates just how far and how fast <laughs> uh, you'll go. And if you touch any of the hazards, you die. Um, and the, your ultimate meter is uh, uh, meter of success is how far you go is indicated at the top and how long the run goes. Uh, my best so far is 3613, and that gives you an idea of just how bad I am at this game. I'm currently 700 and, uh, 722nd in the world behind Mharm S369. So I don't know. Let's try and let's try and let's try and beat that on this run, shall we? Let's go back again. Meow. One of the things I really like about these games is that, again, I, despite the simple premise. I do really enjoy, I mean, they're fun to look at. They're just, you know, simple, grid, neon, nice and easy, you know what I mean? Just, oh God, I'm, I'm kind of screwed here, aren't I? Because now I've got to wait until the meat is really freaking low just to reset. So that's another thing you should be aware of, that the uh, direction that the uh, character thing, orb, circle, whatever, that indicates what direction that you're going to move in automatically. Um, but also the uh, little arrow in the middle gives you an idea of the range of movement. So you ideally want it moving... Oh, God. Oh, I've left myself in a bit of a pickle there, haven't I? Uh, and you kind of got to balance it because if you go too far, that's that's liable to happen. Got pretty close to our record there. Um, but again, uh, you can jump back in quickly like any good arcade game. So there's not this big... Hurrah! About you never that busted up about dying. It's always a ah damn I, I screwed up. And and you can never be mad in those moments because that's the kind of gameplay that encourages you to go one more. Just do you know what? Sod it. Let's go one more time. Let's just ah just ah I could do it better. And ah see yeah, And this is the technique conundrum. Do you wait for the full power, knowing full well you're going to go further, but then you kind of putting yourself in danger? Because you don't know what's coming, or do you keep the shots nice and short so that you can garner more control, <laughs> or less in my case? Um, but uh, and again, this is the thing, and it's that competitive edge. Like you see the numbers going up constantly, 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 getting closer and closer and closer to your best score, closer and closer. That little um, subtle little nod as well. <laughs> the the bar to get last. So. For instance, if you're really struggling at some point, sometimes it's just enough to get past your last go. If you you know if you're a million miles away from your uh, your target, let's say, it's nice just to get close. <laughs> Unless you're terrible at it than me, I will say playing Let's Plays is difficult for me because I find it difficult to concentrate at the same time as playing a game. Uh, on you guys listening to this, 
uh, it is difficult for me to maintain that robust level of concentration required to actually be decent at a game. Oh, I've missed it. Bugger. Uh, and and be a engaging and uh, hopefully personable host. Let's fire upwards, right? Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, come on! <laughs> Couldn't have timed that worse. But impressions of the game. So let's let's go into it. I mean, again, it's one button, so you can use mouse or keyboard, uh, mouse keyboard or controller. I'm using a controller just because I prefer the tactile response of a controller. Responsive, quick, sharp, clean. Never feels. I mean, I've never put, I've never once had this game be uh, running and felt <laughs> uh, that it's cheap. Uh, again, the the, the combat dynamic, uh, combat dynamic, the navigation dynamic of having the meter run backwards and forwards adds just enough difficulty that it becomes almost about rhythm. Like I've gotten better at this as I've started to time things in a rhythm as opposed to. go as opposed to just going for uh, the furthest amount you do get that subtle the neon glow gives you just the most subtle warning of what might be coming and again oh god that was close and that was close too and of course as you've seen you, you touch the edges it's game over for you oh wow yay we broke the record well mine anyway <laughs> just <laughs> Let's see, have I bumped up the leaderboard now? 722nd, I think I was. Come on. No! Okay, fine, sodger then. I'm assuming I'm now in first place. That seems like a reasonable assumption to make. But yeah, the sound effects are nice and cute. Soundtrack in the background is just enough to give you a sense of atmosphere, but never, you know, you know that. And it is repetitive, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that this isn't... Uh, I'm not even sure what this does. Ah! I am now invincible for six seconds. Cool. Let's blast our way through everything. Yes. Ho, ho, ho. I don't know who... Felicide? I don't know what that is. Getting close to the record again. That's nice. Yeah! Broken it twice today. How cool am I? I put on my good gamer shoes for you guys. And as you can see, there's a whole host of new hazards as you go. Ah, I think those are other competitors that we're smashing the scores of now. Oh no! Why did I do that? Ah, oh, dearie me. Why would I do such a thing? How silly of me. Oh, come on. I'm curious. Yeah, I think I think really what's happened is that I am now officially the best at this game. I think that's, that's what, what's happened here. But yeah... Again, I have no no real... I mean, the, the game, as far as criticisms is concerned, I will say this. It is reductionistically simplistic, but I think the point of the game is just to be that... Oh, God. That was about as worse as it could go. Is to just... Again, it's this one last go mentality. And you'll find yourself just 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and just, you know, just putting it along. There's nothing... Uh, critically bad or criminally badly designed these are just happy little experiences these games both uh, Push and Ding Dong XL and it's sorry Push XL my apologies oh god yeah but it's all 80s neon inspired happy you know all of the, everything is everything is just designed to kind of be happy and fun Yes, it's an it's a incredibly simplistic premise. One button, go up. As far as game, uh, you know, instructions go, you know, pretty simplistic. But, like with all great things, or great uh, ideas that have a habit of catching on, like the yo-yo, or uh, economics, you know, simple... Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. A simple premise goes a long way when you can make the gameplay dynamic by adding more things in. You give you give the player everything to begin with, and, I mean, if there are upgrades or power-ups or bonuses, they just enhance the experience. They're not critical to the gameplay. You could never get the whole game without a single power-up if you were really good at the game. Obviously, I am not quite so good. So I gotta... Oh, God. I'm wasting my power-up. 
Subtle cues in the music change. Oh, you son of a bitch. Subtle cues in the music change with the power ups as well. It's a bit like Mario esque, you know, when you get the, um, uh, the, the superstar, for instance. But yeah, just tiny little things like that. And for, um, again, on its own, maybe uh, wouldn't recommend to get it, but when you get it with the bundle, I mean, you know, six pounds for 12 games, I think it is. Uh, that's pretty goddamn good value. I must be honest with you. I mean, six arcade games that are good for, you know, uh, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes a pop. Like, that's a good two hours worth of content. Oh, God! Ah, saved it just about. Can I power through this? Yes, I can. I am the Zen Master of this game now. Oh, no. There's a black hole sucking me in. That's what she said. God! Come on. There's the best. I've broken my record three times on this run for you. I hope you know I'm not... <laughs> I hope you know I try not to be good at games. I still can't see it. Oh, I can't see where I am in the world. Never mind. But that's pretty much the game in a nutshell. You've got the, uh, the challenge mode here as well. Twelve challenges in total. Which is pretty cute. Again, it just adds a little bit of more complexity into the gameplay. Ah, screwed that, didn't I? Let's try again, shall we? Let's do one challenge, and then we'll call it. Because you, I mean, there is literally nothing else to see. This is it. This is the game. And if you like what you saw here, well, good news. There's plenty of it. If you hate what you see here, uh, I don't know, go buy Call of Duty or something. But it's a game of timing. It's been wonderfully, oh, wonderfully designed. <laughs> uh, it's tight. Uh, there's no glitches, very stable. Haven't had any problems with, you know, tiny stupid little things like, you know, the mouse cursor or the detection being too sensitive or not sensitive enough. Because quite frankly, you know, when you get it down pat, you, you, know, you kind of want the recognition of having done it right. Right, uh, there we go. All right, let's try and get nice and close on this one. I hope I'm not too close now. Good. Right. Oh, God! Oh, God, that was close. I'm going to have to time this one perfectly now, because I've got to wait all the way back down again. Oh, God, no! <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, there you go. That gives you an idea. <laughs> but as you can tell, it's it's a fun game. I can't I can't critique it any worse or better than that. It's a fun game. It's uh, plenty, uh, plenty to keep you busy for the 20 or 30 minutes that you might be playing the game. But there's not a tremendous amount more to it than that. Um, I will also give the game slightly... I don't know if I can display this... Um, Oh, without cutting the feed. Uh, I might have to splice in this clip afterwards, but um, as you may have gotten from the introduction uh, from the developer of this game, a uh, bit of a whimsical spirit. There's a um, uh, an outro when you click uh, quit on this game that um, shows the developer uh, kind of just in imploring uh, people, r remember to support in indie games because they're the ones who kind of push the boat out when it comes to originality and new concepts, new designs, or uh, honing uh, retro classics or, you know, just kind of the rallying cry for the the, uh, the first rung of game development, which I really appreciate. Um, so, if no other reason than Adam Vision has uh, a really great sense of humour when it comes to the idea of game design. And just keeping it fun, keeping it simple and uh, ultimately just remembering what gaming is supposed to be about, which is losing yourself for a period of time, putting a smile on your face and leaving you with a sense of accomplishment. I broke my record three times on this run. I feel accomplished. That's my thing for the day. You know, I'll leave curing cancer and world hunger and all the rest of that sort of stuff for another day because I beat my Poosh XL level three times. So I'm happy with that. Anyways, if you like the look of the game, I'll include a uh, link in the description below and uh, you can check it out along with the bundle, which is something I would probably recommend considering that, yes, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't see anyone playing this game for longer than half an hour, 45 minutes, an absolute push. Um, but it's great half an hour 45 minutes and ultimately that's why i would recommend that you check this game out considering the price and considering that it is a lot of fun so 
by, by all means, uh, click the, uh, click in the uh, description below and check it out. But that'll about wrap it up for this episode of the Halcyon Show, this Let's Play. My name's been Lorne Risley, and uh, please like, share, subscribe. I'm agonizingly close to 400 subscribers now, and after seven years, apparently, of doing YouTube, it'd be kind of nice to push on to the, th the mythical thousand so I can start monetizing my content. That'd be lovely. I'd love to see a paycheck from YouTube after seven years. I think an internship's only supposed to last six months. Um, granted, it's taken me five years to make content that I would actually stand behind, but, you know, we all got to learn. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. Please stay tuned for uh, probably a few more Let's Plays and then a review down the line. Um, hopefully I can find a game. At the moment, I don't really have anything that I'm desperate to review. There'll probably be a few more Let's Plays in the future. So keep your eyes open for those just so we can exhibit uh, a few more good games. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. And I'll see you on the next episode. Thank you.